ever experienced that sinking feeling when you realize that you mowed the wrong house, forgot to do a house in the area that you just left, or applied the wrong chemical? Losing time is losing money. That's why we made Cliff ITC's route sheets reliable, efficient, and full of all the information you need, including how long you should be at each job. There are two different ways to work with route sheets, straight from the website with a tablet or with paper route sheets. But before we get into route sheets, let's walk through some of the options we have under the Daily tab to make you more familiar with the program. When you go to the Daily tab, you'll automatically see all due and overdue jobs for that day. If you go to View Work and search for the date and crew you need, you'll be able to edit due date straight from the screen by clicking edit and choosing the date. The view work calendar will show you all the jobs that need to be done in calendar form. Just pick the crew and date you want, click view calendar, and you can see it in any of these three views. And we'll go over the rest of these a little later. For now, let's go over the paper method of printing route sheets and recording work. Select Print Route Sheets and filter the report however you like. You'll want to choose at least the dates and the crew you're printing it for. As you see, there are lots of other options according to whatever you want. We recommend using the Enhanced Route Sheets layout on a normal basis. Play around and see what's best for you. Once that's done, click Show Report. From here, the crew can see all the information they need, including how long it should take them to do each job according to how many people are in their crew. The customers are automatically listed in the order of the route numbers they were assigned earlier. You can arrange them differently by filtering the report here. You can export the report to many different programs by choosing the program and clicking Export. Or you can just print it straight from this screen. When the crews are finished and the work needs to be recorded, go to the Daily tab, Record Work. Choose the dates and crew, then arrange them in the same way as they are in the route sheets by clicking on the column headings. From here, click on the arrow of the first job and record all the information you have on the route sheets. Be as accurate as possible with the start and stop times because it will affect very useful reports in the future, like job costing. To record the time, click the clock and select the times. To get even more specific, you can edit it manually. You can assign the time to the entire crew or just specific members. Then click Add Time. You can also delete crew members by clicking Delete by their name. After all your information is added, click Save and Done. And do that for each job on the route sheet. Once you've gone through the entire list, check the box only work done and search. This is so that you can review all the information one more time before you finalize everything. And just so you know, the information can still be edited in history in case you overlook any mistakes. Either select all the jobs or choose specific ones and click either finalize selected or finalize all. Make sure you don't forget to finalize the work because Clip ITC won't reschedule the job until after it's finalized. As thorough and efficient as these route sheets are, we recommend going the paperless route because it'll save you a lot of time in the office. At the end of the day, if you're using paper route sheets, you would need to record all the times by hand, but the electronic version is as easy as start and stop. To generate route sheets and record work the electronic way, click on Record Work Mobile. From there, the crew would choose their filtering options and search. They can arrange their jobs in whatever order they need. Just click on the column headings and watch them rearrange. Typically, you'll want to arrange them by route number under the order column. Now when the crew gets to Martha's house, all they need to do is press start when they get there and done when they leave. They can add notes that will appear on the invoice for the customer or just in their account in Clip ITC. They can collect a customer signature and reassign a job to another crew straight from this screen. Once they're done with each of the houses, all you need to do is finalize the work by going to the Record Work screen. Search for the jobs you need with the Only Work Done box checked. Review the entries, 
Finalize Selected, or Finalize All, and you're done. Thanks for watching, and if you have any trouble, don't hesitate to contact our support department by phone or email. And as always, your success is our business.